Thou shall not divide by zero. I love math. Here's our intro. Students will incorporate their knowledge of solving quadratics and technology to show mastery of content through a video. Students will work by themselves or in a group of four, and the projects are due December 23rd, 2022, Friday by 3 p.m. No late projects will be accepted. Uh, the website timestamps projects automatically, which means they must be turned in before then. And feel free to stop by your teacher for office hours for free feedback or um, give you maybe a grade, kind of like give you an idea what they would give you before you officially turn it in. Step zero, the real world. Number one, each student will choose an object and record themselves. Here's a student example. You can click on it. Maddie is throwing a water balloon. And not only you're recording it, take a picture of you throwing it. That could be a paper airplane, it could be a football. Students will annotate your picture with the following vocab words. X and Y intercepts, vertex, axis of symmetry, and zeros. Number three, you need to do a connection. How does the math vocab words connect to the maximum height that you're throwing and the maximum distance that you're throwing? Step number one, who? Who will you work with? You can choose to go by yourself, solo, or go with the team. If you choose option one by yourself solo, you'll have to complete two math problems. So you're going by yourself like Spider-Man, you're gonna do two math problems. But if you work in a team, option number two is you'll be in a group of four in your same class, and you'll have to complete only one math problem. And if each person does a math problem, that's a total of four problems, and if you do it by yourself, that's a total of two problems, right? So you actually do less math problems by collaborating. Step number two, choose your own quadratic adventure. Students or the group will pick one of the following topics. We have soccer, water balloon toss, or angry birds. And you can click on each of these and they will give you uh, PDF details of the math problem. So if you're doing, uh, once you pick one of these, if you're doing this by yourself, you're going to go to Google and type dice ruler. Click the blue six sided die to make it go away. Click the green pyramid or triangle twice and press roll until you have two unique numbers. Write these two numbers down here on the Google slides. These numbers represent the person or color bird for the problem above. And that's the equations you will solve. Okay, here I'm, I went to Google and typed in dice roller. This is a six-sided die, so you can make it go away by just clicking on it. I click on the triangle twice. So this is for the solo, and if you press roll, then these are the two numbers that you'll be picking. All right, here's the soccer kick problem. You'll notice here's the intro, and then if you have a group of four, then each person will be one person will be person two, and each person will take you know, a different part of the quadratic equation. And then over here it says, what is the goal of that adventure, right? And then the second page, um, you can ask your teacher if they want to print out this for you guys to kind of graph and make a table of values that might be helpful for you. So this is the soccer one. The water balloon toss is pretty much the same thing. There's four different people. You're gonna pick one person. But remember now, if you're doing it solo, pretend you rolled a one and a three. You would just do person number one and then find person number three, kind of out of order. And again, there's a graph and table of values that might be helpful when you have the backside. All right, if you choose the angry birds, um, it gives you an introduction. Uh, you don't have to do number three. And then it kind of tells you if you want to hit the pigs. I'm going to tell you guys to ignore hitting the pigs. And then you can, um, there's kind of space for you guys to solve your problems. And if you want to use cool background, you can go to over here. So for the angry birds, remember, 
Um, person number one is, I just called it red. They have different birds in there. Two is yellow, three is blue, four is black. Again, ignore trying to um, get the pig or hit the pig. Step three here, math accuracy. You know, I just ate some wonderful chicken sandwiches. If I told you I made this, you wouldn't believe me. I would have to tell you and show you, you know. Um, you would want me to hear me describe how I made it. You want to see me cook it, slice it, dice it, um, dip it, um, knead it. You want to see me do it step by step. Well, we're going to make math sandwiches. Do the same thing when you're answering your questions, whether in the soccer, water balloon, or in the Angry Birds. Tell us how you did it. Show us. We want to hear you. Describe it. We want to see it step by step with your hand. We want to see it on paper. Students will demonstrate master of quadratics correctly and accurately. Step number four, you're going to edit this thing. Uh, find some equipment, find a computer and camera. You can use your phone. Test the quality, sound, and volume. Do not record from far away. We want to see you guys. We want to see your faces. Uh, number two, record landscape mode. So turn your phone to landscape mode. Speak loudly, clearly, and slowly. Feel free to make a script and practice it. When you edit your videos, Edit the content plus extras. If you're doing this video by yourself, it should be about five minutes max. And if you have a group, it should be about 15 minutes max. Edit the video by ensuring it fits the time limits above, including if you want to include uh, lyrics or side subtitles, removing wasted time on the video and adding bloopers and outtakes at the very end. Step five, details. Uh, on your video, include the date, period, school, and your teacher. Do not include your names on the video because you guys are minors. We cannot associate your name with the face. So just make it up like Captain America, um, Mrs. Spider-Man, things like that. If you choose to upload it to YouTube, you want to tag us, these things here, and then extra credit. Show some school pride, dress up in your uniforms, um, your sports gear. Have your math teacher as a guest appearance. Isn't that cool? Kind of like they do in Marvel. You see um, Stan, the guy who created Marvel. And then um, shout, I love math somewhere in your video. Better if it's in public. Number six, capstone reflection. Make, make a copy of this document. Make sure to change your share settings so that anyone with the link can view it. So I'm just doing this for the slideshow share. And then change this. And um, do not do that one. You can do AUHSD or anyone with the link and then copy. Each person needs to submit a capstone reflection and then go ahead and just paste the link down here. Step number seven, let's turn in your project. You're gonna cut and paste your Google Slides link. So go to share. Anyone in the AUHSD, copy link. Link copied, close it. Number two, make sure your name is not on the video project like um, inside the video itself. Number three, you can make your links private so that only I or your teacher, uh, but make sure you've given permission to your teacher that they can see it or the video. If you're on YouTube, it's unlisted, but make sure to share it. Number four, if I click on it and it says private, your project will not be considered turned in. Number five, if it is a group project, only one person needs to submit. And number six, go ahead and click here and you're actually gonna turn in the link. Let's look at this Google form here. All right, turning in 18.5, your first semester uh, quadratics, choose your own adventure. It's gonna have your AUHSD account only. Select your teacher, select a period. All right, first and last, and, and. <laughs> first and last name of person number one. And then if you are in a group, go ahead and put first and last name, person two, three, and four. But it says leave blank if you're working solo. Okay, go ahead and paste your Google Slides link there. And if you're choosing YouTube, um, did you tag Savannah High School Integrated Math 3? Or no, you're putting it through Google Drive. And then you have a quick survey. You can answer this together as a team. 
how difficult to try the project, the most challenging part, easiest project suggestions, and anything else. And that's it. That's choose your own. I want to go over the scoring rubric. Step one, worth five points. Number two, choose your own adventure, five points. Step three, math accuracy. You'll notice this is the biggest one. This is your explanation and showing of the math. Step four, your editing of your video. Step five, details. Step six, your capstone. And step seven, that you turn it in on time. And if you need to, this is a great way is just uh, you grade yourself or you can put check marks in there after completing your project. Hey, do you need some ideas for some fun themes? These are some student projects of my past. These are just things that made it more fun. Pick something, a song you like, whatever it is, and you'll make it more fun and you'll have more fun. Maybe you guys need some examples. We're gonna go over some examples in class about the water balloon toss, but these are actually completed projects. You can just click on that, click on the front of it, and then you can click on, they're either on YouTube or um, their Google Drive. Let's talk about some tips and hints. Uh, I was helping a student, and this is what I wrote. Hello, I was helping another student. Number one, they wanted a summary of the three methods of quadratics. You can click on this video and you can uh, create the foldable, and that was super helpful. Those are summarizes the three methods. Uh, number two, tips and hits for the project. If you draw the picture, can you focus on just quadrant one? And then can you connect the vocab to your finished parabola? Let's say you're doing the angry birds problem. If you plotted the path of the angry bird, what does moving left or right mean of your parabola? And which axis is that? How about if you move up or down? Which axis is that? Number four, as a hint, you can also look at the other angry birds or if you're doing the other project, the uh, soccer problem, look at the graph. One has a graph, so you can see how they labeled the axes and help you define what the variables are. Five, if you can understand the above, like labeling of your picture, um, you guys might get frustrated because I'm just going to keep asking you guys questions to help you understand versus I know what you guys want. You want affirmation and you want answers. Page two of tips and hints, general questions to ask yourself as you're doing the project, particularly the math. What's the goal of this task? How do you judge that? How do you figure out how far he or she kicked the ball? Or whatever they're doing, throwing the balloon or the angry bird. How do you figure out how high they are going? What information do you have? Do you have an equation, graph, or a table? And how can you use this information? Can you graph your clues or hints? Where does the ball, bird, or balloon start? Where does it end? How far does it go? And how do you know that? How high does it go? How do you know? Um, would creating a table of values for each help you? What happens if you graph all of them on the same graph? And there's a couple of Things we've done this past year, our past lessons will help you. Lesson 1.25 questions 33 and 34 and lesson 1.511 questions 50 and 51. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Adventure first semester integrated math re performance task assessment. We'll see you guys later. Bye.